President Joe Biden is set to warn the U.S. of the perils of remaining unvaccinated against the coronavirus in a planned speech later today. The U.S. is currently experiencing a surge in cases of the Omicron variant. Joining us now is Anne-Marie Horder and Bloomberg Washington correspondent. And we've gotten some details, Anne-Marie, of what he's going to say, including uh, 500 million tests that will be given out. But he is not expected to announce new lockdowns or restrictions. Is that just politically impossible here in the States? Yeah, it does seem like there's literally no appetite at all for the U.S. to go back to those draconian measures we saw last year and that even some European countries are starting to tap again. And what this speech is really going to talk about is what the administration plans to do in terms of hospitals, testing, and vaccines. So for hospitals, the president's going to talk about that he spoke with Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin to have ready a 1,000 uh, service members to help with some of these hospitalizations that we could potentially see a rise in, given the rising cases now in January and February. When it comes to testing, Kaylee, you mentioned those 500 million free tests that can be sent out. There's been a lot of criticism on this administration and why they weren't doing that already. I remember a year ago being sent a test uh, in London from the NHS, so really taking a cue there from what Europe's doing. And then finally, also vaccines. How can they have mobile units and more pop-up vaccine stations to make sure that those who aren't vaccinated have access, but also those have a booster? Sam was just saying the booster does seem to be working and help mm. defend this new variant.